To take your questions about the future of I-81, the State Department of Transportation says it's planning an open house meeting next month to lay out updates on the project and respond to concerns. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski just talked with the DOT about it and joins us now. Jeff, what does the DOT hope to get from this public meeting? And Christy, I think a lot of us have been waiting for this first big public informational meeting, so they really want to hear from you, the public out there. As Project Director Mark Frechette said to me, we don't have all the answers. But you know what, they do have a lot. So they'll go over much of what's in the 15,000 page draft design report and draft environmental impact statement. There'll be some new information they'll present there. Traffic info, he says especially, big visuals, some things we have not seen before. Bottom line though, they wanna hear from the public. So this will be heavy on the engagement part. And Frechette says, it's not too late to get involved. Actually, it's the right time to do it. People should try to get involved because uh, by getting, hearing their uh, comments related to the pros and cons will really help to enhance the uh, community grid alternative and DOT wants to have the best project possible. So here are the specifics. The meeting will be Tuesday, June 18th, 3 o'clock until 8 p.m. But at 6 p.m., that's when there will be a formal presentation. So the first few hours are kind of walk around, look, ask questions of DOT reps that are there, offers comments, suggestions. Then at 6, Frechette will give about a 30-minute presentation, but then just to open it up to the public. Now, there'll be a series of neighborhood meetings. Those are not set yet, but they plan to announce that schedule at the June 18th public information session. Christy. Thanks for staying on top of that.